Is it possible to be good friends with someone when you are very different? We have been friends for about 20 years and we first bonded over things like hiking, Hannah Montana, Taylor Swift, and our random senses of humor. Looking back, we can see how we accepted each other's quirkiness and that was a big part on how we became such good friends. We became and continued our bestie status because of continued earned trust and vulnerability. I was thinking about if I ever worry we won't be best friends anymore, but I realized I don't actually worry about it because of everything that we've been through. But not only that, how we've reacted to each other has proved that there's nothing that we've shared that scares us away from each other. Some things we have in common are our values, emotional, spiritual, political, etc. We have very similar thought processes or brains. We're the youngest and third children in our family. And obviously, Christian Bale is the only acceptable Batman. I think it's easiest to maintain friendships through similarities. If you already share the same hobbies or same interests or same sense of humor, it's easier to be friends. We've changed a lot from when we first became friends in 2002, and we've even changed a lot since we first officially became best friends in 2008. One of the things that has kept us together has been the oftentimes hesitant communication of those changes because sometimes as we've been going through something, there's been a little bit of fear or hesitation that maybe the other person won't accept those changes. The continued vulnerabilities that we have offered to each other and the acceptance that the other person has offered for those changes has really been the key in maintaining our friendship. A lot of times we have also experienced some of the same changes at the same time, which has been really helpful because then we can talk through some of those changes with someone that we trust. A friend once told me when other mutual friendships of ours had faded, but our friendship had continued because we had not let our past friendship and experiences be the only factor of our friendship. Instead, we had moved our friendship into the present with our continued current lives. For Bonnie and I, as our lives have progressed, we have realized that we have more differences, whether those differences are preferences or life experiences. Some of our differences aren't that big of a deal, but allowing your friends to have a differing opinion is very important. If you watched our Hot Takes Live video, you will see firsthand some of our differences. And also, as we have gotten older, realizing just some of the differences in our backgrounds and how we were raised. I am married with kids and Jeanette is not married and does not have kids. We have both lived in various parts of the world over the last 10 years. Jeanette loves K-pop music and I am not yet a fan. I'll just put that parenthetical comment in there, <laughs> just in case. And when it comes to music, I am much more of a lyrics person and Jeanette is much more of a music person. When we have had times that we have had miscommunications or jealousy or felt hurt, we have made sure that we always take the time to address that and not just let things build up or fester. It doesn't do anybody any good to just make assumptions about the other person's motivations or actions. It's not fun in the short term to have potentially difficult conversations and be like, hey, can we talk about this? Or, hey, I've been building up the story in my head. Is this what you meant when you said or did X, Y, or Z? But even if it may not be a fun conversation, it is always beneficial in the long run to have that talk. It means a lot to have a friend that supports you and encourages you, even if they're not personally interested in something that you have life experience with or interest in. Sometimes that can look like asking questions or just sending a text or being excited for somebody else in something that you might not be interested in. I think our friendship was originally built on similarities. We refer to ourselves as twins. But as we've gone on, we've found more differences. But I think the longer our friendship has continued, the less scary it is that we are not as similar as we once were. I think the main similarity that keeps us connected now are our values of authenticity, growth, and happiness, and our sense of being each other's chosen family. What are some things that you have discovered about friendship and what are some ways that you keep healthy friendships going even in disagreements, both large and small? We would love to hear from you in the comments and let us know. We've been, whoa, I don't know what I was just about to say. We'll see what comes out in the moment. If, if it's
shoot. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready. If the shoogie comes up. <laughs> okay. okay. Back to okay. you, my friend. Back your section. A friend's <laughs> <Got this. laughs> Am I actually ready? Okay. Sometimes that can look like something. 